Now, as you guys know, I've been talking about this 100K challenge for a while. I've been alluding to it and I haven't yet made the video. So I apologize for that because, oh, it is tough. I just, you know, I've been spending so much time trading, making money, losing money, and just being all around, just like in the chat room, having a great time with this very volatile market that I haven't had an opportunity to actually make the, the video explaining what I'm doing. But we all get the gist. For right now, I'm taking a thousand bucks. I'm trying to make it into a hundred thousand dollars as quickly as possible. It should take me about a year, and we've we're off to a bit of a bumpy start. But it's been fun. So today, I'm going to show you a spreadsheet that I developed called the Drawbridge 100K record keeper and it literally has one purpose it is taking my transactions and it is tracking how much i have invested each week and it's giving me a nice little chart of my progress it's pretty fun let's take a look Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Levi Woods. This is Drawbridge Finance, and this is an opinion channel only about money. I don't offer financial advice in any way, shape, or form. Now, for those of you who know, I've been into this challenge for a while. I'm in week seven, and I finally have released the record keeper. Now, when I started this challenge, I thought there was two simple ways to do this. There's either I, I open a second account, or a third account, or a fourth account. You know, we, we already have too many accounts, but I open an account specifically to have a thousand bucks in it. And then I grow that account from a thousand to a hundred thousand. And then I would know absolutely, matter of fact, I took a thousand bucks, turned it into a hundred thousand. Really, really simple. But I didn't want an account. I wanted this to be straightforward. I wanted it to be part of my regular trading. And I just wanted to be able to track the allocation. So at first you think, well, this is really simple. You just take a thousand bucks and then you know how much you made or lost. But the reality is every week, the investment valuation is slightly different. And so I needed a tracker that would let me track how much I put in this week and then what the new profits were and then how much of that gets reused and how much doesn't. So there's kind of like an in and an out. And I wanted it to be really straightforward and not require a lot of uh, entry. So I came up with a very, very straightforward spreadsheet and I'm gonna show you how to enter the information into it today. Let's take a look. So here it is, this is the spreadsheet. It's two tabs. We've got the Drawbridge 100K tab and then we've got this actual versus theoretical performance which is going to chart out the performance over time. And this one, I can set my goal setting. It automatically calculates the initial investment and the weekly target from the other tab. Pretty straightforward. Basically what I need to do is I need to enter in the trades. Now in order to do this, all I have to do is know what the trades are. Let's go over to Patreon. We'll look at some actual trades. Right down here in this post section, we've got the Drawbridge 100K post. I'm gonna click on that. So that's gonna filter out all of the, the trades. I'm gonna scroll down to the very beginning. You see I've got 20 posts in here already in just seven weeks because I do a lot of trading. And January 7th, I started this, starting a fun little challenge and I entered some trades, which I will show you. The first week I had total capital of risk at, at risk of $1,131 and my total max profit was $469. The max return on capital was 41% and my goal was to make 11%. Let's just enter one of these trades. So AAL was 19.33 a share and I did a small iron condor. So you can see what I did here. I just sold to open a January 14th. Remember this was January 7th. So one week out, I opened a 17.50, 18.50 put spread and a 20.21 call spread with the same expiration, which makes this an iron condor. And I collected a credit of 30 cents. I wrote in here, I sold four contracts for $120 credit. The max cost to buy out will be 400 bucks. So let's just enter that into the spreadsheet. So this is really dead simple. I'm going to give it some sort of name. So I'm gonna type in here some sort of um, indication as to what it is. So in this case, I put in the date, I put in the ticker and the date and I have a hashtag 100K. And then I'm going to put in the expiration or closing date, which in that case was, um, was going to be January 14th. So I'll just enter that in. And my max loss was going to be $280. And you're thinking like, where did you come up with that math? Well, the math is really simple. If we, if we look at this trade, total credit I collected is 120 bucks and the max that I would have to give back is 400. I did the math between those, 120 minus 400 and I get negative 280. 
and that's what I'm entering in there. There's another way to do it as well. You can just look at the profit loss chart. Here's the, the condor, the image of it when it was set up. You can see this $1 wide put spread, $1 wide call spread, a total credit of 30 cents collected down here. And we can see that if we look up at the profit loss chart, we have a total max profit of 30 bucks and we have a total max loss of $70. That's that $1 spread. That's how a condor sets up. And $70 times four is 280. So that's what we're, we're doing. We're recording the max loss, potentially making 120 bucks while risking 280. Now we have to record the profit and loss. And what do we actually do? And at the end of that week, so I recorded a profit loss of $59. It automatically changes the line green and it shows the profit loss of 21.14%. Now, for those of you who have my rolling options calculator, it's really simple. Just go over to the options A to Z tab right here and go and grab this summary. So I can just select these cells, hit copy, pop over to my, my spreadsheet and I can just paste the data into the spreadsheet really simply and I can just swap back and forth between these and just get, I'm just doing these four cells and what will happen is it will just populate it out. Now, I don't need to show you guys this, but as you can see, it's showing me that I had a deposit of $1,131. The deposits to date were uh, $1,131, and the max I could lose in that first week was $1,131. My actual return profit was 185, or a 16.4% return in the first week. At the end of the week, I had an ending balance of $1,300 of which I invested the whole amount plus some. You can see the difference here. I went from 13, 16, and the trades that I entered actually would potentially, could have lost me 13, 39. And that's where this $22 comes from because I was allocating an additional 22 bucks. Let's populate all of the cells and you'll see that each week there's a deposit or a withdrawal based on the difference between, you know, the second week I had $1,400, but I only put in a risk of $1,200. So I actually had a withdrawal. The idea is over time that I'm actually going to get this total deposits to date down to a zero. This sheet is built in a very flexible manner uh, because I could do this challenge however I like. In this case, I chose January 9th. These are run week to week. So if you look at a calendar, the reason I entered the 9th was because my first expiration dates were going to be January 14th. And so I chose the Sunday, which was the start of the week. I could have chosen any day in this week. Um, and then that will automatically put that information in. The same over in my rolling options calculator, I, when I put in January 9th as the start date, then it will automatically tell me what week I'm in. This sheet will update, so it shows me week one, two, three, et cetera. And then that will match over to this record keeper. Cell H1 has to be entered and then K is really the target. And what that affects is what this actual versus theoretical return is. Now that there's information down in this tab, I can go over to the actual versus theoretical performance down here and I can see what the chart looks like and where I am. I'm a little bit behind on this challenge right now. Uh, my goal is $100,000. It's showing me that my projected goal completion is week six, oh, is week 52. So 52 weeks from today, one year from today, I should hit the 100,000 if I can maintain my weekly target of 11%. Now you see the first week I made 16%, then I made 9%, then I lost on some weeks. But the part of this strategy has quite a bit of risk. So that's why I'm doing it with such a small sum of money money. The nice thing about this is I can just alter this. If I wanted it to be a million dollars, I can just put in a million and it tells me that I will get to my goal in week 74, which is pretty great. I can also adjust if I want the, the weekly target. If I only wanted to target 2%, then obviously it's going to have a much uh, smaller graph. 2% uh, is pretty small for this type of challenge, I think. Um, but you know, you could put, be crazy and put in 100%. There's people that are trying to make 100% returns on options. And if you did, this is like lotto ticket winning. I mean, uh, the theoretical, you would be in week 20, you would have turned $1,130 into over 1 billion. So if you just compounded that trade, making 100% return every single week. Now I'm not saying that's possible and it's probably really high risk. So I would 
wouldn't, I'm not doing that. I think 11% is a great return and that's what I'm gonna stick with. I think it's an achievable goal for a small amount of money. So I'm gonna keep it at 11%. Uh, it also shows me the current week, like March 5th, I've got these open trades on. When I've got partially open trades and the date is in the future, they show in yellow. Uh, the spreadsheet adds up the open trades, it indicates that they're open, and it shows them expiring this week, March 5th, with the maximum weekly drawdown of $1,061. So that's how much I could lose this week, and that is just the addition of these five. And as I close these, I'll change this date from March 4th. Say I close it on March 3rd, I'll just change it to the 3rd, and I'll put in the profit. Maybe I make you know, 40 bucks on this trade. 25% return, that would be really nice. And that's how I'll continue to fill out this chart as I go. It will automatically populate the dates as time goes on. It will just, these dates will start appearing here, even if you're not making any trades. So the idea with this challenge is that if I wanna take a vacation and I don't wanna trade, that's fine. It's not gonna break this chart. It's going to allow me to skip weeks and it's going to just track along just fine. Uh, up here, uh, it's going to show me uh, this net change. Now, one of the key goals to this challenge is that I want to make it free. I want to collect enough money out of it that I'm basically playing with free money. So once I've made a couple grand, I'll be pulling it out and I'll be pulling it out kind of as I go. And you can do that however you like. Once I get to a certain point, this net change will not be able to calculate a number because it can't calculate a return on investment on a negative number. I'll give you an example. Let's just say that in one of these previous weeks, I had closed the trade for $5,000. It will automatically tell me that my total deposits to date or the amount of money that I've withdrawn up here is actually a negative number. I've taken more money out than I currently have at risk. And it also says here in cell M1, congratulations, this is now a free trade. So the goal with this is to make this number negative, which would be fantastic because if I can, then it's absolutely, I'm just playing with profits and that's fun. So if I'm risking $100,000, it's like $100,000 of profits, which is still gonna be scary, but it's going to be a bit different because I won't be able to lose any money at that point in time other than profits. If you guys enjoyed today's video, remember to hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't so we can all get rich together. Thanks so much for watching and see you very soon.